Thank you very much for being with us. Uh, Jorginho, a midfield player at Chelsea, Brazilian by birth, but Italian by sporting nationality, scored the winning penalty for Italy in the Euro semi-final against Spain. The reaction across Italy was perhaps predictable. Jubilation, as much about relief after a match largely dominated by the Spanish. Italy, though, took the lead on the hour. Federico Chiesa of Juventus with that goal. Spain equalising on the 80th minute, Alvaro Morata of Atletico Madrid. So 1-1, no further goals, extra time, and then the dreaded penalty shootout with Italy prevailing. Let's go to Rome. Sima Gupta is there. Sima, put into words the mood where you are. Well, right now, I don't know if you can hear, but there are people honking their horns on the street. Uh, they're blowing out whistles. They're shouting in joy. There's music, in fact, coming out of uh, certain homes as well around me. But essentially, I mean, this was a tense and uh, long nail-biting uh, semi-final, if there ever was one. I mean, it, it went through a, a roller coaster ride. It started off with that first goal by Keza. All the mood was up everybody was thrilled and then the equalizer clearly both teams were very well matched and then subsequently when things got drawn out and we saw those penalty shootouts i think at the moment that locatelli missed that first uh, shot at the goal uh, that's when everything fell for italian fans in shock at what had just happened and then Olmo missed the, the shot as well so it was really a roller coaster right up and down up and down but in, in the end it seems Italy has prevailed and will be at the finals in uh, London it was a fantastic game of football football of course where you are is, is very much a cultural affair I know and everyone has an opinion so Seema what are the feelings of the fans around you about who they would like to see Italy face in the final on Sunday at Wembley. Of course, just reminding people, in 24 hours' time, England play Denmark for that other place in the final. I think um, both are strong teams, but I would imagine that Italy would prefer to meet Denmark simply because, of course, England will have the home advantage if they're playing at Wembley. They will have their home crowd there cheering them on. And so that will be an added advantage for that team. Uh, that said, though, we did see today uh, in, in Wembley uh, there was a strong Italian turnout. Uh, Italians living in the UK turning out to support the team, a very strong turnout at the stadium. So it will be interesting to see who ends up being in the final. Uh, whatever it is, I think here in Italy, uh, everybody will be looking at this game, especially as the country has suffered so much uh, the last one year and a half with COVID-19. This is something that really is bringing people together. Indeed, Seema, that final point you're making is a really good one, isn't it? It's lifting people's spirits after what has been a terrible, terrible period. Seema Gupta in Rome, thank you as ever, very much indeed. Congratulations to you, all your neighbours, all your friends. And uh, on Sunday, made the best team win, whoever Italy uh, find themselves facing. Seema Gupta there in Rome. Thank you.